Wow, that was crazy. Wish I could have filmed it. I had to run. Uh, so I was scouting this certain area and uh, all of a sudden, man, thunderstorms come up fast. As soon as you hear that first roar in the distance, that means, and you know the wind and you know the direction of the cloud movement, you know it's gonna be on you fast. I was way down in a canyon. Had to climb about 700 feet out. And I was definitely nervous. I don't want flash floods to hit me or get hit by lightning. So basically, <laughs> I ran a good, uh, you know, 700 feet out of the canyon, just climbing and scrambling, climbing as fast as I could, breathing so hard. Then I found myself about a half mile from my rig, so I had to run to my rig. Then when I got to my rig, I just realized that this storm was coming in right, the lightning and the storm was coming right into the composition that I'm nearby. So, I mean, look, I'm drenched. Uh, so I grabbed uh, the camera that's filming me now, the 11 and the Sony, and I ran and I had to scramble and stuff to get to my composition. I pulled off just a handful of shots of both a horizontal and vertical as this huge wall, storm and lightning's coming in, and then all of a sudden a torrential downpour's coming. I knew it was gonna be hit me within like, gosh, listen to that. If you can hear that, unbelievable. But I knew with the lightning and this wall of water coming, I only had about probably a minute or two so I freaking stuck my uh, camera underneath my jacket. I, I brought a light tripod, didn't even use it, I just handheld them. Held the trigger down, and hopefully I got lightning in the shot. There was a bunch of strikes. I think I did, and then, uh, um, man, I got hit with wind and water. A little nervous about getting out of here in the next couple days. I mean, this is a lot of rain, so. We'll see, but <laughs> I have a good feeling I got the goods, and that's what matters. And sometimes, you know, you just you just realize, you get this impulse, hey, this is what you got to do to be a photographer. You know, you got to chase these storms, you got to think about what's going to happen. I'm thinking rainbows here pretty soon as this goes by, but the angle of the sun I don't think would produce a rainbow in my scene. The uh, sun's way too high, so anyway taking shelter I'm not touching metal as soon as all the thunder and lightning quit um, I'll just go back out there and see what it looks like so it's my job man it's crazy okay you guys um, it's got to be a rainbow somewhere it's so bright out there but you can see it's downpouring too which is weird it's weird when it's raining but it's super bright Anyway, that's it. Just piled in my rig. A lot of adrenaline. Peace out.